A lot of people have still been asking on how to boost properly and make way more honey than you are right now because you probably are thinking that yeah you're doing something wrong as all hive colors really like red hive, blue hive, white hive and even your hive might be quite messed up as well. But we will be going through all of that today because well honey day is actually out right now and you do really want to make the most of it even if you haven't used it yet. So, well first of all we're gonna kind of go over like a blue hive right now and all I'm gonna say is just having way more normal buoyant bees than usual like for example just replacing a music bee, shocked bee and stuff like that really cool bee and everything and then what you do want to do is after you do get a pro blessing and I will talk about the balloon blessing boost you do want to do but first of all for the normal boost all you really want to do is have you like your alt account or something or just people helping with you and playing with you and all of you guys really just being in this corner over here collecting all tokens like this making sure you are collecting them because you know you don't really want to just be walking around the field mindlessly not even knowing what you're doing so make sure you concentrate on that and then you really just want to do like two three pop stars and once you are full and because this is honey day you will probably be needing to do like just two pop stars and your lunar hive will be just insane already if you are you know good but after that let's say i was just full right now with two pop stars done all balloons going to hive all i want to do is just go through all the way over here grab honey mask like this and just go to hive like that and just convert like it's that simple and you just gotta repeat that every time keeping up everything making sure your nectar is good because yeah you really need to keep up good nectar have a good balloon blessing make sure to keep up the festive nymph blessing if you can obviously the puff stream blessing wealth clock literally everything sticker stack obviously mondo yeah you really need loads of timers and that's kind of for every hive color too and for the blue balloon blessing what you do want to do is obviously have more buoyant bees like removing bomber bee fuzzy bee gummy bee and stuff like that and just doing the exact same thing but then really just building up if you can with robo challenge because loads of people have talked about it before but get into a certain robo challenge round getting loads of capacity like round 19 or something and then just really just boosting I have also kind of showed it off in different videos so that may be more useful than just me saying this right now and now for red hive which I am actually right now and I don't really suggest copying my full hive build because I'm not even sure myself if this is good like I'm still testing loads of things but really just going for I guess something like this but probably not too rightly bees I might switch to like 10 spicy bees and stuff as well maybe less carpenters who knows but really what you do want to do whenever you are boosting is you know obviously keeping up all of these buffs as I said before like obviously the balloon blessing you really want a high one for that but when you are boosting and you do actually get to the field which that's probably what you're here for is legit just making sure your precision is full 100% then what you do want to do is actually timing this X flame so yeah as you do see X flame has just went off so what you are going to do in a situation like this is legit just go for these making sure you have precision precise marks all around your field you need that loads of marks and everything don't stand on the last mark for too long because you're just gonna lose flames and everything just go there like this for example like look touch it like that touch it like that wait there for a second boom everything is perfect now if you do see in a second scorching is about to go off just like that now wait go through all of these you do want to go through these if, as well if scorching is actually really close or something and x flame is close as well all you want to do is just go through like this because you do get look at these basically focus I forgot what it was called for a second but it is really really useful and then as well when you do get a lineup like I said before just a second ago so let me just demonstrate it once again or if you are in a situation like this where you have scorching star on it right now all you want to do is if you do have a bear morph you do want to hit targets and stuff like getting marks and everything or just right now going for a precise mark there because yeah precise and stuff really is the best like that and I do recommend reading this document over over here if you haven't yet already because it's gonna help you even more if you didn't really understand fully from me from what I said and for white hive I mean it's kind of similar really if I'm gonna be honest like just going for all of these over here as I've said before making sure your precise marks are lined up all of that stuff is just lined up good and ready for your board to fire and then once you do have it so the gummy star you do really really want to have loads of marks and everything making sure you're going for all of the stuff like you know basically just once again reading this document over here because it's probably going to give you just a bit more information than just me just randomly yapping about something because I'm not really the best white hive so I'm not gonna lie obviously I can't give you the best information on white hive which is why it's probably better if you just read this right over here but yeah hope this has helped you guys anyway though like I'm sure it definitely has just a bit even if you didn't really know what to do and yeah let me know how much you guys are going to make in this honey day or basically how much you're aiming to make.